The Appointments Committee of Parliament is currently vetting President Okufuado's Supreme Court Justice nominee, Emmanuel Yone Kolende. Let's listen to him answering questions from the Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu at the ongoing vetting. You will be at the highest court, as Chairman alluded to. The Supreme Court of Ghana, as you know, exercises exclusive jurisdiction over interpretation of the Constitution. Now, in the Monica Lewinsky case in the U.S., one of the famous senators said that the rule of law, the rule of law, nothing less, nothing more, but all persons being subjected to the law. What's your view on the audio terrain pattern rule in law, and how will you use that to protect the rights and interests of all other persons under the law? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, the all the alterum patem rule, as you appreciate, is a fundamental rule of law that you do not convict or make a judgment on a man until you have heard his side of the story. It's, it's, it's what we say in common parlance that uh, you don't tie, for me who comes from the north, you don't tie a single tuber of yam. They always have to be two. So you must always hear the other side of the story before you reach a conclusion. This is fundamental to the essence of law. And any judicial determination that offends this rule um, is impugned in an irretrievable way and occasions a complete nullity. And both as a matter of common sense and as, as a person with a common law orientation, I, I believe that ought to be the case of any judicial determination properly so-called. Chairman, may I respectively refer the nominee to Article 131 of the 1992 Constitution to get his view on the right of appeal. And Chairman, with your indulgence, I read, an appeal shall lie from a judgment of the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court. My interest in this matter is A, as of right in a civil or criminal cause or matter in respect of which an appeal has been brought to the court of appeal from a judgment of the high court. What is your view? Should the words as of right necessarily be part of this constitutional provision? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, for now, that is the law, and there's a lot of sense and logic why in all, crim in all matters, civil or criminal, the citizen can be permitted a right of audience by way of appeal true to the apex court of the land. Mr. Chairman, after all, the Supreme Court is the final court. And so in, in matters where the citizen is minded so to do, um, the citizen should be able to access the highest court of the land. That said, from my experience as a practitioner, um, this outright door, as of right, to the Supreme Court, um, literally, in some cases, opens a floodgate into the court. And therefore, it, however frivolous, a party's case may be, and however compelling a decision and reasoning of a trial court and an appellate court may be, 
The party can automatically access the highest court of the land. Uh, this has occasioned, if you want, a lot of traffic and jam in the Supreme Court. It's, it's a right that citizens ought to have, but it is amenable to abuse. Um, is there, therefore, the need to consider some filtering of that automatic access? I don't know. It's, it's, I, I, I can just tell you the